hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast and intuitive message for today, Saturday, February the 4th, 2017. And as always, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So your message today is this, one that I've just been pondering over and over and over before I press record on this because I'm like, what? What does this mean? But I saw it, and I usually find these things like days and weeks before, and I just put them in a list, and then I just go through and take the next one. So I love when things just pop up randomly and probably fortuitously. But today's message is this. Lying is often safer than telling the truth. And I was just thinking, well, how in my life is lying safer? And I was thinking, okay, my friends say, hey, let's go out Friday night, and I lie. Uh, I don't feel well. Because it's easier than saying, no, I really just want to stay home and rest. Because then they might, you know, that would be the, the truth. I just, I, you know, or I don't like you guys <laughs> and I don't want to go out with you. Or, you know, the last time we went out, it wasn't fun. You know, because then that's the truth and then it's not safe because then you're going to have to get in this dialogue. You know, someone says, how's your day going? I said, oh, it's great. When inside, I'm like, I'm falling apart. Life is horrible. You know, that's the truth. And then that's not always so safe because you've got to deal with it. And the emotions come up. And then they're going to ask why, what's going on. And they might dig into your life and you might show you're vulnerable. So, so I think that could be. So ask yourself, where are you lying because you know it's going to be safer? Or you're lying because you know you won't have to take a chance jump off the cliff, you know, maybe find something that's going to be a little more challenging, but in the long run, you know, more freeing than, than staying in a place of safety because it's familiar. So there's your message for today. Chew on that one with me because I'm still chewing on it myself. So energy for today and tomorrow. The whip flew out, which just totally makes a lot of sense. So, um, you know, today I had pulled the fox and temperance, and the fox can often be about lies, deception, sneakiness. Temperance can be about, you know, just putting you through the fire, testing and trying you over and over and over. And I wake up and I look at some things going on, and I'm like, yeah, that makes sense to me. So let's pull a new card for today. From Lenormand today, the snake. So more lies, more deceptions, more sneaky betrayal kind of things. It's a seven um, card on a seven day and the seven day is you know uh, metaphysical mystical spiritual research solitude analytical kind of energy so seven card on a seven day makes sense but also the snake you know the serpent's tongue lying sneaking cheating um, you know just betrayal and then tear to go along with it is the four of wands and the four of wands is usually about the home you know where you feel comfortable you know the place that is um, your safety this can also be about marriage, you know, coming together. So this could be lies and betrayals between, you know, someone you care about in and around your home, things like that. Tomorrow, all the numbers add up to eight. That's business, success, um, some other key words, authority, power, material, wealth, organization. Let Norman go along with it is the bouquet, number nine. So tomorrow feels like there's a gift. There's something beautiful, something very positive coming to you tomorrow. And then Tara to go along with it, ace of coins. This could be a baby being born, a business business being started or some kind of earthly material thing coming to you. So tomorrow, maybe you're going to get a big chunk of change. Maybe you're going to win the lottery. Maybe I'm going to win the lottery. You know, maybe maybe I've got the lottery tickets right here. I'm moving them fast so you can't see the numbers. Um, <laughs> you know, you just never know. Um, so, but again, baby could be born, starts beginning, something material, ability, you know, money, resources, finances tomorrow, and it's an eight day. So, boy, it really feels like tomorrow's going to be a nice, powerful day, financially, earthly, grounded, successful kind of energy. So, there's your message for today and tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you feel led, check out my website, intuitivemitchell.com. Because it's February, the special of the month is Midsummer Magical Love Spread. So, if you want to look into our current love or, or finding love, check out that spread. It's discounted, usually about 20% off in the spread store. And also, if you want to look into some hypnotherapy, um, MitchellOsborneHypnotherapy.com. Um, for those of you who work with cars and stuff, had an amazing session. I talked about this yesterday or the day before. Had an amazing session with someone. And as we were talking about, you know, what's going on in their life, they wanted to meet their their spirit guides and we also met some earthly guides but we also connected them to their deck in hypnotherapy or altered state of mind that hypnosis state of mind and um, kind of cool thing that happened so um, if you want to look into that check it out so namaste talk to you soon bye bye